Do you think po it's important to have a film like this to counter this information? It is very important because you have to really, you have to really teach people, especially the new people, what actually happened. This generation. Oh, pero mo, I mean, I don't know. Parang nabasa ko yata na never na discuss ang yez sa mga history books. Right. Parang it's about time. Ano ba? But a very, very heroic time in the Filipino personality. And then all of a sudden now, wala and we're ashamed to be Filipinos again. Because we're the laughing stock of the world. Because of all the... Susugang pa lang yung title ng pelikula, which is Oras de Peligro. I think it's now. We believe that we still believe in dangerous times. Oh yeah? Tama yung sinabi ni Jim na instead of being politicized because people think that it's politics there's Dilawan there's Kakampi there's all of these color things it's not, that's why I didn't wear any color it's something that the Filipinos did when they got tired of being a big and from what small family it reflected the whole Dinag Peace of the whole nation. Hindi pa nga pinakita ng mga torture. I knew the new people who actually died during this war martial I had classmates. Yes, yes, yes. Killed, murdered. Yeah. Disappeared. I don't know when you tell the kids right now, parang it's a fantasy that happened so many years ago. But then you watch something like this, see, hindi ka talaga. Ano sa palagay niyo, bakit ganun ang hindi masyadong intact ang mga millennials po sa mga... Kasi hindi nila alam. Yeah, you can't blame the millennials because they were not told, hindi na hit green sa culture. Because there are parents also who say that there was nothing wrong with martial law because their lives were good. There are only a few. You know? As my uncle said ng martial law, Martial law is okay until it happens to you. Yeah. It happened to more people. Except the bad things happen to more people than the good things. Yeah. You know, real situation.